Haptic engine is basically uh, what vibrates your device, right? So, um, you know, whenever you tap the screen or whenever you get a phone call or whatever, you know, whatever, whatever vibrate, this is, this is that component that vibrates your entire device. Now, Apple was really, really ingenu uh, showed a lot of ingenuity when they made this component. Um, other tap, other vibrators, vibrating motors and, and phones, <clears throat> really like shook the device it wasn't like subtle it was like wah, wah, you know imagine nextel you know <laughs> anybody old enough to remember those things um how those vibrated as if uh, you know you had a uh, a metal bead in a, in a tin can um when iphones when apple designed the taptic engine they designed it to have different um, levels of vibration and, and the way it vibrates is different because a, a normal vibrating motor in a phone actually rotates, right? Um, the way the Taptic engine operates is it oscillates. It doesn't, vi it doesn't rotate, which uh, somehow, some way creates a much more subtle and much more natural feeling vibration. Apple seems to put these little black pieces of tape over some screws for i don't i don't you i have yet to find the, the the functionality of those black pieces of tape other than to make the repair more difficult for technicians like me um which i don't um specifically mind because you know it definitely does reduce my competition however i'm somebody who um definitely supports the right to repair meaning i think all users should be entitled and have all the tools and access to repair their own devices should they choose to so if you have a faulty charging port like say you severed this flex connector or something or damaged it your speaker wouldn't work either because that information travels through that charging port flex cable